Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is a tutorial on a few methods which is present in the dictionary. So the first thing which I want to teach is ASCII. Now, what is ASCII in dictionary? Now, in dictionary, if particular key is present, then it would it should give me an output of uh, true. And if it is not, then it should give me false. Now see, print wrapper grammars. I just created a basic uh, dictionary which have which has three three keys and three values associated with it. Now, if I try to make has key, now if I uh, put Kanye West, if this key is present, it should give me true. And if it is not, then it should give me false. That what that that is what has key does. Now if I try to run this, see it gives me true. Now in case if I pass on something else, like for example if I pass Beyonce, now this should give me false. So this is basically what ASCII is in Py in Python in dictionary. And the next thing is next method is get. Now what is get? Now get method I will check through the dictionary whether a particular key is present. Now, in case if the key is not present, you can assign a fallback value so that it it should it should not it should not throw error. It should give that value as the output. For example, let's try this: the number of Grammys Jay Z has plus string. Mm. Rapid Program is dot get Jay Z comma zero. Now, now what will happen? It would go through all the dictionaries and it will check whether the particular particular key which you are uh, assigning into the arguments, assigning as an argument in the get method. Uh, so if the Jay-Z is present, then it would give me 21. And in case if it is not present, then it should give 0. Now Jay-Z is present, so it should give me 21. See, this gives me 21. The output is pretty cool. Now if, in case if I, if I remove this Jay-Z, now if I try to print this, see, I should get 0 because Jay-Z is not present in the dictionary. And this is a fallback value. If a certain key is not present in the dictionary, it should give me this default value you can set it to anything now see this would give me zero now you can assign 21 if suppose says is not present it should give me 21 yeah so this is the use of get in uh, dictionaries now the next one is set default now we basically what we do we just uh, let me let me put this jz again Now, what we do, like a certain key is not present, if you want to assign a value to that, we just do something like this. If suppose uh, Beyonce not in Rapid.Grammys, then Rapid.Grammys Beyonce equals to she has 20 grams. So now print the output of premise so the this this is the way that uh, if you want to check particular keys not present and if you want to assign a value to the uh, to the dictionary so uh, if Beyonce is not present in this then assign uh, the key Beyonce inside this inside this dictionary and assign a value called as 20 now see this would give me a Beyonce as well but rather than doing these three line codes you can do one thing we can make use of a set default, which is a one-line code. It doesn't require these whole things like these two codes. It doesn't require. So you, you need to have a print statement for that. Now let me remove this. Now see what is wrapper dot is dot set default. It is a method. Now what set default does? Set default checks the key which you are passing here. The answer. Now, if this key is not present here in the main dictionary, it would assign value. 
but if it is present it won't overwrite now see this would give me Beyonce as well 21 the same result before now listen again if set default what it does it would check through the main dictionary keys and if the key is not present then only it will assign 21 or whatever value you want to uh, assign to it but in case if it is already present it won't assign it won't override the value now if I try to do the same thing again and I put a gram is that set default and Beyonce now if I assign a value of 50 grams to it see this won't override it would give me 21 only so this is what set default does and this was all about hash key set default and get method in the dictionaries thank you for watching